else. <laughs> Especially this part of the world. Yeah, right. Good morning, buddy. Morning. What's up? Morning, morning. I found the chief. All right, that's the man in charge. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Steve, Joe, Joe Ringer. Steve, nice to meet you, nice buddy. Nice to have you. Welcome. Yeah, man. Welcome to Blue Marlin. Yeah, we're happy to be here. Beautiful we're place. We're happy to be at Blue Marlin Cove, baby. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> awesome. A beautiful place, and uh, can't wait to see what's going on in the fishing scene. Well, you know? We got a few fish, got a few grocery around here, that's for sure. All that's right, what grocery, we need to do today. We need some groceries. I say we go do that. All right, that way we can eat fish all week. I love that. <laughs> there you go. Good idea, man. Sounds all right, great. working on the ceviche recipe. There all you right, go. so I got some squid in there. What we're we gonna do? A little bit of deep dropping, you think? I yeah. think that's with the weather. Okay. That's what we got to deal with the weather. Let's okay. go. Yeah, we'll let's... make some lemonade, man. All right, all right. We'll do a little deep dropping, and then if we bump into something else, we'll do it. Right. You know, you're in the Keys. I'm in the Keys, and we got a really sweet place where we live. But we're so close to the Bahamas, the water's always clear. You know, we, we made a plan. We talked to the folks over here at Blue Marlin Cove. They were very receptive to having us come and stay uh, and show us their fishery. The owner, Joe, he said, let's go out there and let me give you a taste of a little bit of everything we have yeah. here at Blue Marlin Cove. And, and it was great because we weren't that far from the place. I mean, we, you, you know, I think you can, actually, you can actually see the drop off from the resort. Oh, you can see where the water is 100, where it goes to, a thousand, three thousand. You know, you have all kinds of uh, access to all kinds of fishery. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Thank you, sir. Y'all too, man. Y'all really find too many, call us. About our fishery here is, and one of the things that brought me to, to buy Blue Marlin Cove is the fact that literally if you've got a day like today that's really blown out and you got a lot of wind and you can't get out to tuna fish or dolphin fish literally right in front of the resort or just not too far from the resort, you got great 800 to 900 foot deep drop spots. So you can still take the family and still stay in a little bit more calmer water and still be able to enjoy with the kids and the family and everything. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, the mahi this time of year, and, and here's what I'm looking, you know, we're facing southwest right now. So, you know what, how often do you get a southwest wind? Not right. too often. That means yeah. there's a front here and that's it. So it seems like this front side will always be nice and calm. Correct for whatever you want to do, whether it's snorkeling, deep dropping, trolling for dolphins, you know, catching conch, whatever you're going to do. Yeah. Um, that, that's a neat little thing to have that west well, facing. That's situation. what's so unique about the property, you know, and, and uh, the ability to do just that. You know, uh, we're, we're so close to, you know, the tuna uh, grounds, but yet, like you said, the snorkeling off of Sandy Cay or anything is just within miles, you know, uh, yeah, very, very easy. You're coming here with your wife and daughter and a couple kids, you know, they're not going to tuna fish. They want to go swimming and Absolutely. doing all the other stuff. Well, that's why we're, you know, we're adding <laughs> to the resort right now. We're building a beach club here in the front. We're uh, doing a lot of expansion. I bought the land in front of us, and we're, we're sculpting that out to build a beach club for the kids and others from a uh, pool bar area. Uh, we're going to expand the marina. We just put fuel in. We're getting customs immigrations building built hopefully this year and get it clean pleated. But we're also starting to sell units, which is nice. Uh, we're, we're a condo building. We're not really a hotel. Right. We're a true condo complex. So our units are two, two, two bedroom, two and a half bath. I know. You know it's like walking into your home. Well, well yeah. we try to you know, make They're it like walking nice. into your house. <laughs> yeah. Yellowfin and all their competitors in the 36 to 40 yeah. foot range coming over here. Hour and 15, hour 30, hour two exactly. hours, depending exactly. on their power. Yeah. And having and arrive at this. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Leave your worries behind, that's well, it, man. Get Check them at the channel marker. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Got it? Yeah. That's a good one there. That's what we're looking for. There's a there we go, gentlemen. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Hawks K Resort, the only key you'll need. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Yeti, built for the wild. Shimano, yellow fin, only in a yellow fin. And by Key West, Spear One Charters, and by Sea Deck. You know, we're 80 miles from the United States, so you. 
on a pretty day, you're here two to three hours on a, you know, the mid, a lot of yellow fins out there, there's 36, 39, so you can bring your family over here in a few hours. You know, make sure you got the food to cook on the grills. As soon as you're set up, unloading your boat, get your fishing permits, clear, clearing with customs, you can be fishing 15 minutes later. You know, Joe takes us to the first spot for the yellow eyes, and we set up with, you know, three electrics so everybody could play. So, you know, in the perfect setup, uh, for us is that 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 light little uh, Beastmaster 9000. It can travel. You know, we, have, we brought <laughs> the, the Talus. Five foot, they're medium action. It's their, it is their go-to um, deep drop setup. Yeah, we had had the the rod 65 Max Quattro, very thin diameter, gets you down very fast, very strong. It's you know it's obviously I've said it before. It's 25 percent thinner diameter, which is huge when you're dealing with a lot of current yep. and trying to get down fast. You don't have that that pull on your rig you can stay straight up and down and feel those of, bites you can get rid of the belly you can use less lead and you feel the bites quicker and watch that tip you're not wondering what's going on down there you're you're tip to the bait to the fish you're gonna you see it happen right when it happens and with that with 900 feet of line down you want to be able to get that coming up when you start biting hooked up scotty i, I might have lost one bait but i know i got baits you got you hooked up yeah yeah You can try it, Joe. What the heck, man? I just hooked up. Go for it, bro. Fish up. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Got it? I'll come help you out, bro. One second. There you go. Thank you, sir. Awesome, man. He's got a little battle scar on him. Yellow eye snapper, huh? Yeah. That's a beauty. Awesome fish. Even got your bait back. Look there. How about that? Do it again. Didn't even rob you. That's it, How buddy. How about that? Thank you, sir. Where are we going? Cooler? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, got a little mark on there. You see him? Uh-huh. Run in with a shark or something. A razor burn. One down. 20 to go. <laughs> Once Joe got us out there, the, the spot, you know, we had the electrics ready to go, variety of lead, six, eight, ten pounds. We didn't know we were going to be dealing current. with, with current. current, yeah. And uh, we, current wasn't really the issue. It was more of a wind drift. Mm -hmm. But uh, once you got set up on your track, we hit them every time, same spot, same spot. Uh, you know, how it's the easiest thing to do is a deep drop, and it's not a, not, it's not real colorful like everything. But you got your lead, you got a box of squid. An electric reel and you're going to provide a, a meal for a lot of people yeah. and you like to get hooked up then drop it right back down to try to load up sometimes that was working for us this time but for me it didn't i had to if i got bit i had to start winding up well sometimes you shake them off too so there's a it's a give and take situation there for sure yeah. it's a learning curve yeah. i tell you shimano ought to be proud about this little reel it's amazing huh great reel it's man. incredible absolutely incredible i mean i they it, wanted to get in the game, they it did. Really, yeah, I mean, it's really incredible. I mean, knows when to stop, knows when to start, right? Incredible. If you, if you can read the manual better than I can, it'll even jig for you. Ah, that's what I heard. <laughs> it's a jig mode, yeah. All right, let's see if I can if I can hold on to this one. I wasn't quite ready to go back to school and learn how to use everything on the boat. <laughs> oh, now he knows he's at the top. Yeah, now you're right. Right? Yeah, there, there is. There's some pretty color. There you go. That's a nice one, buddy. There we go. That's dinner time there, gentlemen. Yes, sir. How about that? What we want right That's there, That's pretty, buddy. huh? Oh, beautiful fish, uh, man. Welcome to the Bahamas. Yeah, Blue Marlin fish. Coat, baby. Beautiful color. <laughs> Thank you. Man. Our house is your house. All right, all right. That's going to be dinner, right? That's it. That's it. I believe... Uh, I believe someone is talking about ceviche here. Yeah, I, that's I, I think, ceviche. I think I just got him a ceviche. There it is. My knife is sharp. Got a ceviche for him. And I got my bait back. All right. How about We're that? that things are looking up. All on the same day. Yeah, I'm uh, Joe Rieger, the owner of Blue Marlin Cove Resort and Marina in West End, Grand Bahama. Uh, situated about 58 miles or so from West Palm Beach Inlet. 
and about 68.5 miles from Stewart Inlet. Um, great, great spot, easy to access, very easy to get to, uh, very safe uh, you know, distance that you can travel with your family and friends uh, right here to Blue Marlin. It's just a great spot, a really great fishery. You can be in a thousand feet of water in no time at all right out of the inlet. You know, our target market is West Palm Beach and Jupiter and Stewart, Florida, where I'm from. We're a little different than a hotel because a lot of people think we're a hotel, we're not. We're, we're a residency. Uh, they're true two bedroom, two and a half bath condominiums that you can bring your family here. So if your wife doesn't fish or doesn't want to fish, the new beach club or doing some of the on island type activities such as going to the east end to the caves or the state park here on island or swimming with the dolphins in, in Lakaya, there's lots of things for families to do that don't specifically fish. But you know, we're geared truly for, you know, for a sportsman family or a sportsman uh, like family. We have Eco here, we started our own Eco program here. Uh, with the Ecos Kids Camp here in West End and bringing in kayaks for people to go out and kind of venture out even around the property here. Our fishery is incredible because in the winter, of course, you've got your wahoo. Uh, we've very, got a very strong wahoo uh, you know, backing here throughout in the front where it ledges off in the front of the resort and also down towards Sandy Cay. But you know, our deep dropping here is just tremendous as well. Uh, yellow eyes, queen snappers, just about every species you can think. But we're also very well known during this time of the year for tuna. We're really strong in yellowfin tuna as they come around the corner and start to head up into Tuna Canyon. We have a lot of resident blackfin here though, and they stay year round. I mean, we catch them in the winter, we catch them in the summer and spring. Future plans here at Blue Marlin Cove are that uh, we are going to our next step to build our custom immigration offices and buildings and new lobby area and uh, small sportsman store, dive shop. And then further on from that, go into the beachfront areas, which will be expanding the marine out. Uh, additional slips will be created for larger vessels. Uh, we can handle vessels now, which a lot of people don't realize, up to 70 feet. Then we'll go to the beach club, which will have a new restaurant and another swim up pool bar area. So, um, you know, if you're ever looking to own a piece of paradise, this is it. If you purchase a new boat, there's a lot that comes with owning a boat. There's safety, which is number one, obviously, and the other thing you have is to be legal. And to be legal nowadays, there's a lot of requirements from the Coast Guard. There's life jackets, there's flares, there's whistles, and they're all different depending on the size of your vessel. You know, here at West Marine, they have everything laid out for you. They got the fire extinguishers, the flares, all in one convenient location. And not only that, they even have boards up that'll tell you the size of your boat, the state you're in, what is required. First aid kit is, is required by law. A flare gun is required by law. There's multiple different types of flares, uh, you know, depending on the size of the vessel. The charts and the staff will help figure out which ones you need. Um, life jackets. You know, whether you need lights on your life jackets, depending on the size of your boat, whether you're commercial, recreational, how far you're going out, some jackets require a whistle and a light on them. you got to have a throw ring. You know, West Marine has a throw ring. It's, you know, sometimes they require you to put line on it. So what you'll do is you'll go down and look at the chart and it'll say, hey, you need 30 foot of line attached to your throw ring. You know, it's very confusing a lot of times. I, I don't even know exactly all the things you have to have. You know, we're constantly changing the rules. We're constantly upgrading things. But these guys here at West Marine know exactly what you need, which flares, which life jackets, which fire extinguisher, how many, which reflective tape, which whistle, which first aid kit. Well, you can come in here and do it yourself if you don't feel like talking to somebody, but if you do feel like getting some assistance, the people behind the counters are very knowledgeable and they know what they're talking about. They got it all for you right here at West Marine. So basically you need to do what's right, you need to be safe, and you need to be completely ready in case something does happen. You want all the safety equipment you need and required for, and you know what, don't just go with what's required. They got all kinds of things out now, gadgets, that are even above and beyond. West Marine can do that for you. They have everything you need to outfit that new boat and get you out on the water. The tuna's here year round, even if the weather's not really great. They are. Can you catch in 12 months a year? I mean, yeah, you our, do get nice days. Our blackfin are pretty much localized here. Um, yeah. And uh, the yellowfin as well. They'll stay up in the canyons and uh, in front of the kaya pretty much year round. Are they always the same weight class year all year long, or do they have like a no, you see, mix of 40, 50s and then maybe some 80s? Yeah, you see your larger fish this, you know, starting this month, and they'll start to come around from the corner. 
So you get into your more 80 pound, up to 100 pound class fish this time of the year commonly. And then your localized fish are gonna be always, you know, 45 to 60 pound fish. There we go. Fish on weights. There we go. Got a real one. That's where we're at. Come on, baby. Yeah. Stay on there, stay on there. 50 pound, I think I gave you. Yeah. Nice and easy. Crazy head shakes. Nice and easy. Big old horse eye. Keeping nice. his head down. Nice and easy. Got good color. Little mutton snapper. Oh yeah, boys. Target species. There you go. Engaged. There you go. What we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Nice little mutton. A little shallower, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, he's, it's a greenback, man. He's been living here. He hadn't been on the sand. Well, he's got some buddies with him. He's puking up something I didn't feed him. <laughs> a little crab or what? Some sardine. Old sardine, though. Whole? Yeah, it's not from today, I tell you that. Well, that's not ours, then. It's keeping God, 78 to 80 feet of water off. Yeah. yeah. White House. Love it. 80 feet yep. of water. Yeah. Half a go. mile off the resort. There you go. All right. You know what they say? You Rinse see. and repeat. Yeah. You can see the blue roof. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're in the right spot when you see the blue roof. If this is a reef donkey, boys, I'm going back to bed. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, has been brought to you in part by Simrad, go with confidence. Scales, every degree of water. Mercury Marine, go boldly. West Marine, for your life on the water. And by Ameritrail, Costa, Power Pro, and Blue Marlin Co. What's up, boys? Ooh. That's a good one there. That was a close one. Oh. Now we know where the rocks are, boys. They're over here. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think the rocks. Because you on know the other he's side. heading for it. Be easy. You got Get it. out of your way here. You got him. That's a screamer. Yeah. All right. I didn't catch you know my what? yellow eye today, but I will. I'm not going anywhere. That sim rat almost tells you when they're about to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about that. Yeah, right? Beautiful. If, I, if this is a reef donkey, boys, I'm going back to bed. We well, you know you ain't gonna rock you up, dude. I thought we left the land of amberjacks. That's a little more color than amberjack. We'll see. I don't think I'm into another mutton. Not after going around the anchor line twice. We'll see. You're gonna be on the leader there, Cap. I got you. But all that fighting he did, he's gonna be laid up. He's spinning like a dang. Spinning like it's a big old doggone African, Scotty. Yeah. Oh my goodness. How about that? Joe, I got a story for you. Really? Eleven months ago to the day. Yeah. It was my birthday. Uh -huh. I told Steve, 11 months, oh, that I was going to catch an African pompano right before a cold front hit us. One bait in the water, I caught, I caught and mounted my first African. Wow. And it looks just like this one. That's All right, it's got tail wrapped on last spin beautiful. there, Stevie. You want to catch Beautiful it? fish. Our few hours with Joe was action packed. You know, he took us from deep water to the edge and back. It was a in, out, Fish here, fish here, fish here. He had, a, he had a plan. We had the tackle ready to go. We executed it beautifully. We came home with all the dinner we could possibly imagine. We got a great lay of the land. Joe is the most gracious host we've ever met. He had everything waiting for us, the live bait, the slip, the, the dock hands, the ice. He gave us a sprinkle of everything. It's what we needed. Uh, give us a little bit of a lay of the land, like he said, and just uh, and get our feet wet. And then from there, we can just branch out as anybody else. You can get it done. It's very simple. It's very close. 
Everybody's very friendly. They're more than welcome to help you out and say, hey, I heard they're, you know, the locals are catching some muttons over here, and I heard the mahi are over here. Great place to try out. It's not that far. Uh, and again, whether you go from the seaplane with the family or whether you come across in your own boat, you know, the weather can be something you want to keep your eye on, like anything else in any other place, but the water is always clear, it's always warm, and everybody's always having a good time. Great patience waiting to get them out of the hole. Though. This is on a jig, right, Stevie? Yeah, just a little head there. Yeah. A little jig head, and I actually killed the filter so I can get it down. Very nice. Man, we have got enough fish, bro. You have done it. Look at this. Look at Between this. The, uh, oh, it's a big old mutton, I think, Scotty. Yep, <laughs> yep, look at that. You didn't outdo my How mutton. How about that? How about that? There you go. Between the yellow eyes and the reef action, right out front, we're good in Ashford Moore, man. We, we got some. Oh, that's Ooh, Marlin a big old, that's, that's the way you catch them right here. Muttons. Right there. I spoke that's too how you soon. catch them. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Good work, man. Couldn't let him catch all the fish. <laughs> that's catch why we get them right there, Blue Marlin. Awesome, how about buddy. that, babe? Oh, yeah. Right there. Awesome. Huh? Thank you. Absolutely, Thank you. guys. That's beautiful. But that one on you the waited them out, too. No, you guys, you the sat rock. there and were patient. Look at that. Little little jig. I think we're ready for a fillet table. All right, let's oh, back yeah. at the resort. And get a clean Hey, where's up. the blue roof? Oh, it's right, right in front of there. us. Right <laughs> there. There you go. Look for the blue roof. Wonderful.